YouTube, what's going on? You know what time it is. I'm back. Tonight, I'm going to do a video on nitrates. And this has to do with my man, uh, Dan Heitschu. We've been kind of talking about this, uh, kind of going back and forth, I guess, uh, discussing nitrates and their effect on fish and really what does it do and why does it do it uh, more you know more wanting to understand it better and uh, you know I hit him up in the early summer I guess and he finally decided to do a video and get back around to it thanks Dan uh, I'm just kidding anyways um, he 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 put out some he put out some material and uh, got me to thinking. Uh, but before I get into doing this, guys, I want to give a shout out to Stebs Thirty Six, and a reminder to all the bigger channels and the channels that are up and coming. Um, at one time, you only had one or two subs. Let's support some of these uh, smaller channels that are trying to get started. Maybe, uh, you know, give them a boost, uh, you know, critique some of their videos, you know, uh, help them out a little bit. Uh, you know, come on, community, let's step in and support some of these guys. All right, guys, uh, stay with me. Going to be looking at nitrates, the effect that it has on fish, and uh, start a discussion on this. Stay with me. YouTube, what's going on? Talking NO3 or nitrate and the negative impact that it has upon aquarium fish. And this is going to be in response to Dan Heitschu's video. Uh, he and I actually started this conversation a while back. Uh, probably mid, early to mid summer, we started this conversation about nitrates and their impact on aquarium fish and did they have an impact at all and you know because his nitrates in, in, in his tanks are so high um, NO3 does have a negative impact on fish as far as the studies that were performed uh, that I was able to to go back and and and, and study and read and of course I'm not going to sit here and you know cite theory and, and all these different types of things and whatnot but uh, I will I will uh, let you know that that it does impact the fish. It does repress their immune system. It does affect their slime coat. Uh, it does damage their kidneys. Um, in fry, this is very uh, uh, very very lethal uh, to 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 fry um, invertebrates and to corals um, at very low levels. Um, now. Amongst aquarium fish, it varies widely because there's so many different kinds and the the way that they are able to tolerate this toxin varies uh, by fish to fish. Uh, nitrate shock, turns out this is a thing. And what it is, it, uh, supposedly is the test that were conducted was taking a fish in waters that had relatively uh, uh, no nitrate levels uh, detectable and taking them and putting them in waters that had extremely high levels of nitrate and then the fish uh, in one study went blind so <laughs> you know uh, that right there is is uh, you know was enough for me to just go wow okay um, yeah you know uh, so some of these studies actually do show that um, you know that, that that there is a real negative impact on, on, on the on the health of fish. Um, to Dan's point, when he tests his water for his for his nitrates and he's showing uh, 80 parts per million, they're actually you know again depending on the fish, they can withstand a very high level of nitrate if the nitrates raise uh, uh, slowly and accumulate over a period of time, which would really makes sense considering that Dan has well-established tanks that he hardly ever does water changes on 
And uh, also he has plants in there which are helping to filter the water and feed on some of the nitrate levels. Um, that right there actually does make a whole lot of sense with what he's saying and, and with what the studies have found that, that, you know, as long as the nitrates are raising up slowly over a period of time, the fish can withstand that. So, uh, again, I mean, I'll never do that you know, I, in, in my tanks and whatnot, but I think that it, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to add that, add that to the debate that, uh, I had seen, uh, some videos that were done by the cyber Aquarius where he was, uh, talking about nitrate shock and, um, you know, and, and taking fish and moving them here and there. And, and I don't know what species that he was talking about, but I know that, you know, a lot of people in the hobby have a lot of different experiences with with the fish, and and and, and they can vary widely, uh, you know, vary widely based on the type of fish that you have, the tank that they come from, so on and so forth. So I wanted to go ahead and add that into the conversation, guys. And uh, uh, guys, if you haven't subbed uh, Dan Heitschu's channel, I'm going to leave his uh, his link in, the, in in the description. He's got some really good videos. Go ahead and hit him up with a sub. Um, and uh, I'd love to hear back from you guys and hear what you think about that. Um, trying to get a good picture, a focused picture of my of my male ram. He's he's uh, he, he he really turned out to be a, a real beauty. Um, guys, I'm Scuba Steve. Thanks for watching.